Hi crafters, this is Cindy B with Mrs. B's Craft Room .blogspot.com, here today with another video in my video series using the Cricut and the Gypsy. Today we're going to be making a page layout, a Halloween page layout. We're going to be using the Happy Hauntings cartridge and the Mini Monsters cartridge. And um the Georgian basic shapes. So as always, I'm going to start out with the first layer of my um project as being the actual page layout that I've designed. So what I've done is I have gone into um, Georgian Basic Shapes and I've brought up a basic uh, square and I have enlarged the square to be... Well, it's not going to give me a very good dimension. Let's see. The square is about 8.5 by 11, I think. And, but what I wanted to do different with this square, and just instead of just cutting out a square of designer paper, I wanted to um, create a border similar to the Martha Stewart border punches uh, for my layout. So what I did is I went into, let's see which cart we was able to get the, the fence from. So the fence came from Mini Monsters. And the fence is actually the shadow of the fence. So it's key 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It's key 45 on your keypad layout. So what I did is I picked that image, brought it back to the mat, and then I replicated it several times, copied it. <clears throat> And then I moved it to the top of my square. Whoops. All right, so let's see if we can move this up. So you can see, there is the fence, the individual fence line, and then here's the top of the square. And so what I did is I made, I don't know how many were across there, let's see. One, two, three, four, looks like five. So I did five copies across, and then I um, scooched them together so that they touched, and then I scooted them all down onto the top of the uh, square and I grouped them all together and the way you can do that if you remember we're going to group all these together by selecting our group key select the items that you want to group and as those turn blue they'll be part of the group and then you then select the group key again to turn that group off so now we've got a group and then we go into the advanced tab and we weld those items together and we'll go ahead and hit the eyeball so we can see what this will look like. And we'll zoom in so you can see that they're all welded together and they went on the top of that pay, that uh, square there. So now they're, it's very similar to a border punch, which I thought was a kind of fun idea to do. So, what, so with that in place, now I've got my main piece um, on the paper for my layout. Decided I wanted to go ahead and put the Haunted Mansion on here for many monsters so I've selected that haunted mansion and then I went ahead and brought that house over to the next layout the next mat and the house is sized at why are these oh my gosh the millimeters are on that was making me crazy that's why I couldn't figure it out okay so on your gypsy you have um the size is either in inches or millimeters. It was showing like a hundred and something, which I knew wasn't right. So I've changed it back to inches. So the house is four by 5.73. And I've gotten that off the Mini Mon Monsters cartridge, which is on keypad 10, 20, 30, 40, 42. <clears throat> so I've brought in the shadow to the house. And I've also brought in all of the layers. And if you remember, when I talk about in my previous videos, I talk about how to bring in the layers and the shadow the exact same size as your house so there's not a mistake. What I normally do is I highlight my item, and then I'll go into the keypad. I'll select, I'm going to select the layer button. Then I'll bring in that particular layer, go back to my mat, and you'll see that it's all grouped together. You'll hit ungroup, and then you'll be able to move that piece around. Uh, and that will come in at the exact same size as your piece so that when you go to layer these, they'll fit properly. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because I have that already on my mat. So I have the main image, the shadow image, I have the layer 1, the layer 2, and the layer 3. Now I do want to point on the layer 3. I went ahead and went in under the advanced 
tab under the hide contour and I hid the little uh, shutters. I'll just show a couple of those for you. I hid a, those shutters because what I found out is when I went to cut those, the cuts were so small that um, it really created more of a mess. So I just decided to hide those and I'll draw those on with my white gel pen. So that's a great feature with the Gypsy is that you can hide any of the cuts that you don't want to cut. So I've moved um, all these pieces around uh, on, to the different areas of my mat for different colors of cardstock. Okay, and then I'll go to the next layer, which is where I actually brought in the word spooky, which if we go back to the main mat, you'll see the word spooky, and I've got two ghosts. So I brought those onto my mat, and the word spooky, I believe that came from Happy, oh, that came from Mini Monsters, and so maybe I was wrong, maybe I didn't use Happy Hauntings, I took off the one that I used Happy Hauntings, so we used Mini Monsters on this one. So the word spooky. Spooky is under the phrase uh, feature key, so if we hit phrase, and it's key 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, key 15. So I selected the word spooky and brought that back to my mat, and it is sized at 5.23 by 4.06. I also um, brought in the, um, the shadow for the word spooky. Now, I will tell you it has a ghost on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to zoom in so you can see it. It has a ghost on the word. I didn't want that ghost, so I cut him off. Um, it was really simple to do. Um, if you look at the word itself, it doesn't have the ghost on there. It was just on the shadow. So I didn't really want it. So if you want to keep it, that's fine. But I didn't want it, so I after it cut out, I went ahead and just cut that ghost piece uh, off. Okay, and then for the two little ghosts, um, those also came from the mini monster cartridge. And they were on, uh, let's see, they are key 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, key 15. So I brought those in um, and I sized them at 2.07 by 1.82. And then using uh, the hide contour feature under the advanced tab, I went ahead and took out the little face images because I'm going to stamp. I'll show you those real quick. I took all of these out. I'm going to stamp um, his little face with a Peachy Keen uh, stamp, face stamp from one of the monster sets. So I went ahead and I made two of those ghosts and I positioned those in the places that I want to cut for the particular color of cardstock. And I'm going to go off and cut out my pieces and I'll be right back and we'll put the page together.